Hello guys, in this video I'm going to model a boat and build a ship. I got the lines plans from the internet and we're going to model it step by step. First thing we need to do is to make a new project. Select the blank project. We're just going to leave this as default and accept. Then to import our picture we first need to have actually at one point. We got our lines plans in a JPEG format. We're gonna open it in Paint. Then we're gonna to create a profile view. And then we're gonna select the transverse sections in the fore part and we're gonna save them as well background images can be imported from tools edit background images we're gonna select firstly our profile view and set it as a profile view and then we're going to select our transverse sections and set this as a body plan view and accept the pictures have the same scale but they need to be aligned to the global coordinate system select the first picture Depending on the picture size in your computer, this may take a while. We're going to do the same for the profile picture. Now in the perspective view, you can see that also the water lines are align because the pictures were both the same scale. It's time to make our first transverse section. We will do that in the front view and we will start by actually moving the first point we made. close to the top of the transverse section. Now we'll add another one. I usually like to work with five points or more, but it depends on the, the, the geometry. Now we're going to move the bottom of the frame at the right location. We're going to copy the X location to the other point. You can select multiple points by clicking the control button and then clicking all the points. By pasting the right value in the X axis, all the points will move to the right location as such. And we have our first frame. Next, we're going to do the front end. Now we can actually make our first uh, part of the surface. We're going to select four points and then we're going to create a surface. You can choose the type of surface display you want from the above menu. 
I like the zebra. I am selecting the four points by using the control button. The upper surface looks wrong. This is because it has a different orientation. We can switch the orientation from up here. And we have started our surface. The top point is actually going to be switched to a corner point. And now it's time to make the second transverse section. The zebra mesh can help you to see the orientation of the surfaces. Make sure you select the right surface. And after you fix the orientation, you press escape. This looks good. I'm going to continue the same process until I finished all the frames. Now we've completed the fore part and we're going to do the same process for the off part.
Now our surface is complete, but there is a difference of orientation between the off part and the fore part. We are going to hide the control net and in the right view we're going to select with control the four part and we're going to reverse the face orientation of the surfaces. Now in perspective view you can see that we have a preliminary version of our boat. Currently our ship length is incorrect. If we were to have a ship of 12 meter, we would have to scale 12 by 147. Make sure you select everything with Control All, Tools, Scale, and we want a uniform scaling. Now to check, we just select four point, and we have a 12 meter ship in length. Next, we're gonna check if we have any leaking points, and it seems we have one in the four part. We're gonna set this in the center plane, press escape, and it's gone and set the main dimensions of the ship. Length 12 meters, breadth is approximately 2.5 and draft will assume 0.3 for now. The displacement and some quick properties of our hull can be shown by pressing the wireframe display we can see now that, that the LCF is zero, which is not correct. To fix this, we go to calculations, hydrostatics, and we will calculate the values and accept. You can see the metacentric point, the flotation point, the displacement value, the block coefficient and the lateral area of our surface. Thank you for watching and join me next time for another tutorial.